Look out for those quills because quill shot is back and deadlier than before. So it's time to avoid those spikes once again as we take on Deadeye Quill Shot in this week's Behemoth Breakdown. Before taking on Deadeye, here are a few things you may want to know. Like before, Quillshot doesn't have any elemental weakness, so bring your preferred weapon. The Bladestorm perk is a really handy way to get rid of the quills on this behemoth's back. Deadeye likes to go into the Enrage state pretty often, so the Rage Hunter perk is an excellent perk to have for extra damage. If you're having trouble taking on the heroic version of this behemoth, the Shellshock Resist perk might help you out. This is when Porcupine is enraged. We'll go into detail about this state later in the video because this state will dramatically change the pace of this fight. Moving on, let's see what Deadeye has in its arsenal. Before we start, almost all of Deadeye's moves are exactly the same as a normal cool shot, so I'll briefly go over them. To start, we have Backhand, Body Slam, Drag. These are attacks used when players are on the sides of the behemoth. Up next, we have Swipe and Lunge. These are attacks Deadeye uses when players are in front of the behemoth. Deadeye uses Tail Whip when someone is behind or on the side of the behemoth, and Kick is used when the player is nearby the hind legs. Quill Ring fires around the Behemoth, and Quill Barrage is an attack that continuously fires quills at the player from afar and up close. You should be familiar on how to avoid these attacks by now, otherwise you're going to have a hard time taking on this Behemoth. Don't forget, you can interrupt this Behemoth during its enraged state whenever it uses Quill Barrage. This move has made big changes since we last saw Quill Shot. Dropping to the ground, Deadeye will fire its quills three times, shifting its body around each time it fires. Be careful when the body shifts around since this also deals damage. If you're close to the behemoth, either dodge through the behemoth or stay at the head to avoid getting hit by the body. If you're far away, you might need to dodge to avoid these quills. As I mentioned earlier, this state makes some pretty drastic changes to the behemoth. When Porcupine enters its enrage state, Quills will launch from Deadeye's back just like Quill Barrage. The amount of spikes from Quill Barrage will also increase and Quills will now try to predict your movement, making it much harder to avoid than before. So prepare to be running around in circles or quickly changing your directions to avoid these nasty Quills. Another change is the attack speed, so expect all of Porcupine's attacks to get a massive boost in attack speed compared to a normal enraged quill shot. Keep a close eye on your stamina because if you run out during this state, you'll surely be punished. In Heroic, Deadeye's Quills will be able to inflict Shell Shock, slowing your movement speed, making dodges cost more stamina, and partially blinding you. On top of this dangerous debuff, Deadeye will also have increased damage, so be careful not to get caught in the Quills raining from above. Deadeye is both a fun and very punishing behemoth, so hopefully all the information I have given you will aid you in your next Deadeye encounter. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in Dauntless. Want to know more about the moves I briefly went over? Check out Quillshot's Behemoth Breakdown.